What is going on guys? Gray for today. I'll talk about why everyone in the community is really upset with the new event pass. Uh, and for good reason, people are upset. It's just kind of ridiculous. And 343 has a great game. A lot of people are really enjoying getting back into Halo. I really enjoy it. I will say their major downfall has been their season pass and of course now this event pass. So let's look at some of the issues people are having with the pass itself. You have 30 tiers that are available in this pass and 16 of them are XP or challenge swaps, which are absolutely ridiculous. Of course, then you have the, you know, like the shoulder pieces, the chest piece, any of this samurai armor that you're looking to get are really gapped out in the pass itself. You're only going to be able to level up the pass around seven times per week the event is out. And this event is going to last one week, then it's going to be gone for a while, then it's going to be out for another week. So you're looking at probably February or March before you're able to get the majority of this new armor and have all the pieces kind of together. So if you look at the right and the left shoulder, those are like five tiers away from each other. So you're never going to be able to get them at the same time or within the same week. You're going to have to wait to the next, you know, time the events up before you can, you're able to, you know, kind of complete some of these armor pieces or, you know, kind of have them so they can match or whatever the case may be. And the last thing that really frustrates players is all the premium items within the store. Now we all know games are going to have premium items. We look at Warzone and it's free to play. You have items you get within the past and you have items you get within, you know, the store itself you have to buy for real money. There's around 30 to $40 worth of items in the shop right now. The one thing I think is frustrating players a lot is some of these cool samurai pieces they were showing off in trailers and talking about having this free pass and all this stuff is going to be available. Some of those items are, you know, just purchasable through the store itself. And if a lot of people feel like the 343 is just forcing people to have to go buy these items instead of being able to just play the game and get the things through kind of a, a progressive system, you know, for a uh, for, for, for or through the pass. Excuse me, I'll get it out here in a second. But it's just kind of frustrating overall. I think that's the biggest disappointment, in my opinion, about the game because the game is very, very fun. But the way they have done their season pass and the way they have done the event pass, I think 343 needs to reevaluate it. Personally, in my opinion, I think they need to get rid of the challenge system and go to a traditional XP system like everyone else has. They can leave the challenges in to where maybe if you do your weekly or your daily challenge, you get some kind of bonus towards that, uh, you know, season pass or the event pass itself. I think they also need to add currency into the uh, pass as well. Get rid of all of these challenge, you know, reset things where you can replace your challenges because I think that's absolutely ridiculous. It's just a lot of filler there and it's not really giving anyone anything that they're really going to want. So I think if you add currency and put the system to a traditional XP system, I think a lot of people would really enjoy the game more. I think people would be happy or at least uh, could tolerate the season pass or the event pass a little bit better. The reason I say they need to add currency to it, this is the only game that I can think of that really doesn't give you currency back within the pass itself. And I, in my opinion, a lot of people will save their currency and buy, you know, each pass, you know, like when the next season of Halo starts, Halo Infinite starts, they would save their currency and buy that, uh, you know, pass with that currency they save. But there's also going to be a ton of players out there that are gonna, that's going to get that free currency and decide to spend it in the store and buy some items from the store. So guess what? They're going to have to spend real money the next time the next pass is available to buy, you know, season two, season three, whatever the case may be. So overall, in my opinion, you're still going to make just as much money if you have uh, you know, currency within the game, within the season pass itself, or if you don't have currency within the pass. I think they could have added a lot better items within this event pass itself. I think there should be no challenge swaps in here. I think there could have been some currency available in here. I think there could have been some better armor items. Some of the items they have only available in the store could have been available through the pass as well. And you might could have done a few different things for the store. I understand that it's a free game and they need to make money in some form or fashion. So you got to have items in the store for people to buy. That is perfectly fine. I have no issue with that whatsoever. The biggest issue I have is a lot of the filler we're getting within the season pass and the event pass. And also, of course, the time frame, how long it's going to take for you to do this. I'm not a big fan of the challenge system. Like I said, I think 343 needs to change the challenge system and go back to a traditional XP level up system and also add, you know, currency within the uh, pass as well. So you can gain currency kind of along the way kind of do it like everyone else does their passes you know people like Fortnite's pass people like warzone's pass even though they may have filler and junk for the most part most people are excited to you know participate within these events within these seasons to be able to gain things through those passes but also 
they're happy to go spend money in the store as well when you have a good pass system set up. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.